Setting your time zone at the mini chat chatbot level allows your subscribers to see dates and times based on their time zone, but also allows your chatbot owner to see dates and times in their time zone based on the chatbot. But I'm gonna show you how to set that up and get that going, and I'm gonna show you that now. All right, let's get this party started. And we are going to talk about bot time zone. And this allows your bot to have its time zone set. So a business, my business here would be central. Uh, somebody in New York would be Eastern. Somebody been in uh, San Francisco would be uh, Pacific. So you can set it at the bot level and then every subscriber has their own time zone. And Minichat's made it real easy to communicate the right value to each entity. So at first, you're gonna know that you have it. At least this is how, when they turned it on for me, is that you're gonna get a screen like this. And it's going to be something that just says, please select your bot time zone. So maybe, and I know new accounts right now will get this. So if you open up a new account, you'll have it automatically. It's most of the ones that um, pre pre exist like all mine uh, do not have it automatically and they'd be rolling it out. So the first time you come in, you're going to see this screen. So it's going to say, please select the bot time zone. Uh, the bot time zone is not configured. So you can see, so what you have to do is you have to click the drop down box and then just pick the time zone that correlates to where you're at and do submit. So that is the way it's going to initially be set up. If you need to change it, then you need to go into settings. Put myself up here, go up to settings, and it's going to be on the front page right here. It says bot time zone. And I have mine actually set up to New York for testing purposes so that you can see it's working for you because you know, you're located. What you do is if you want to test it out and just see how it works, set the time zone to something other than you, um, who you are as far as a subscriber to your bot. So then you'll see the difference. And so we're going to have it at Eastern time zone here, but I'm actually in central. And basically here it is. It's all scroll down. You can pick your time zone. And then down here, there's a little bit more information and it's a blog post from Minichat that goes over a lot of it and settings, some settings and stuff. Very short, but obviously to a point, uh, telling you how you're gonna get it and how you set it up. I am going to, well, we're gonna test this a couple different ways. So I created a flow and first I'm just gonna bounce over to my subscriber record. So there's a couple fields in here called actually just the one we're going to use current date and time all right and i'm just going to clear it for now oh thought i cleared it oh there it is okay now it's gone it's a leave yep all right current date and time is gone and we're going to go over here and the first test we're going to do oh the other th oh I'll talk about that when I get to it. Uh, the first test we're going to do is we're going to do a user input. So basically what I did is you start a flow. If you just want to test this out, start a flow, click on user input field from down here, and just say, you know, select date time. And pick reply type as date and time and then pick the a custom user field that you want to store it in. And so what you want to do is you want to have a, 
uh, date and time. And so I'm just going to make one up here. I'm just going to start typing something in. And I won't save it. So I just put dates. And so what you want to do is you want to have a date and time field, just like that, to store it that way. If you only want dates, you can do date. But date and time, you have to make that kind of field. And I have one right here. It'll be a little clock next to it. So I'm going to click date and time. And then text on the button. I'm just going to say select tab to select the date time. And that's it. And so now you'll have, here, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of this one that I already had in there, All right? And then you're going to come off the bottom of the message. You're going to continue to another step. And in this message, we're just going to, we're going to display current date and time, the field that we just filled in here. We're going to pick um, formatting. So I'm just going to take this one right here so that it shows the time and stuff. And then for the last step, and then you're going to continue out of that message and you're going to go to a action. And I just picked uh, Google Sheets action. And let's see, insert row. So I did is I picked insert row and then I picked my spreadsheet and I picked my worksheet and then I just mapped some fields out. All right. And I just mapped that current date. And so in my Google sheet, I added a column date and time. So I have like user ID, first name, last name, I had email and stuff. And I was putting the date and time in there, but I formatted this to be the same as outside of this. So when I formatted this, I formatted it the same way. So we can kind of compare it. So I'm going to collect the date. You know, let's say you're asking for their birth date or I don't know. <laughs> any kind of date that you're asking your subscriber for, you just store it and then we're going to display it and then we're going to put it into Google Sheet. And we'll also look at what it looks like in the audience. So I'm going to publish this and now we want to preview it. And we'll go to Messenger. And there is select a date, tap the select the date and time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to push that. And I'm going to select Halloween at 9 p.m. Okay. So October 31st at 9 p.m. So I selected. And so remember, we displayed this and we formatted it. And it came up as December, I mean, uh, December, October 31st at 9 p.m. And that's what we entered. And so this is displaying to your subscriber. So if you think about it, they, they did something. Now it's coming back to them in Messenger. It's displaying in their time zone. Nine, because that's what I picked. I picked Halloween at 9 p.m. But we also sent this over to Google Sheets. And this would be the bot owner that would be looking at this. And that came over at 10 p.m. So that's, that's what it's done is the bot level is on Eastern time and I'm on central time, which would have been 9 PM, not 10 PM. So now let's go look at the user. I mean, not user subscriber. Let's go look at the subscribers data and we're going to go to those fields, current date and time, October 31st, at 2200 so that is at 10 o'clock or no that's the bot that's at the bot level at 10 o'clock so you as the bot owner is looking at the data of your subscriber and you're going to see it in your time zone the bot time zone whereas here you can go by the little question mark uh, subscribers time is actually 2100 hours and it's actually um, nine, nine o'clock. So pretty neat uh, how that all works.
Now, the other thing is, is let's go through the other scenario. And it's going to be very similar. It's just going to go, but we're using an action to set the date and time. And so here we're going to go get the time and date, uh, date and time of the action, and then we'll display it. And so it's just a set. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just doing set custom field. And then I pick my date and time field, uh, current date and time. And then I said right here, set to the date of the action. So then you know when they did it, whatever it is, so you're recording something. And we want to do it twice. And then on this field, once I picked it, I just did the formatting and picked it like that. And you can check out the other video. I kind of go into that a little more detail as far as the formatting of the uh, dates. And so it should be up someplace up here, the little eye. If you click on that, you'll see it in at the end too. And we have that. And then we're going to update the Google Sheet. We're going to add another row. So I'm going to publish that. And we're going to preview it. And there it is. Get the date time of the action, which is, says 8 o'clock PM. Now this has been, I have notified uh, many checks. It's not adjusting to my time zone because this is what's, uh, look, this is what I would, I see. And it should be five hours. So basically uh, if we were looking at this, remember um, central time zone is five hours off. And if I look at this current there, if I look at minus five hours right there. So if I took this eight minus five would be three o'clock, which that's what it is, is 3 p.m. If we go over to Google Sheets, it says 4 p.m. because that's the bot. So that's the owner of the bot would see their time zone in Google Sheets automatically. It's just done whatever, whenever you're sending it. And basically that's what we were doing here is, again, we were doing the up insert row and we just mapped out the current date and time to a column of date and time. And then here, what I did is I highlighted and then deselected that, went over to format, number, uh, date, and actually more formats, and then more format, date and time formats. And then I just set it up this way, year, month, year, dash, month, dash, day, a space hour um, with hour with leading zero and then a colon and I dropped it down another one um, minutes with leading zero and then a.m. p.m. or basically yeah a.m. p.m. And that's it and I just applied and so that formats this column. That concludes our video for today on how to set up the time zone for your mini chat chatbot at the chatbot level. There's many advantages of doing this. A few things is the subscriber will see dates and times in their time zone when they see them, but also the chatbot owner, the business or client of yours that owns the chatbot will see the dates and times based on their time zone or the chatbot's time zone. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell so you do get notification when I upload a new video. Down in the description, I have a great group, all like-minded people sharing things in face on Facebook. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.